okay let's do it uh, this one mm, again we will go to the right and uh, as we can see uh, this figure uh, in AutoCAD or every uh, or any other drawing uh, how can I say software there should be like you need to find out the first starting point like from where you should start your geometry so it will be more easy for you like that when you have to find out and at this point you guys don't need to worry like that once you practice uh, with the drawing you will automatically learn uh, which one is the starting uh, point for each drawing so in this one uh, our starting point should be these two circle because if we draw these two circle we can draw these line we can draw this circle easily and here there are not only these two circle we have four circle in this drawing uh, the one is this one and the other one is this one but half of them we just cut so we have four circle in this drawing so we will start from this this two circle but these two circle are um, at a distance of six from each other so first we will draw one center line uh, which is six and then we will draw this circle and all the other dimension so let's start choose the line and choose like uh, draw six as we can see there are a lot of difference in the dimension from this to this so it's look really like small compared to this but don't need to worry you can just zoom in by scrolling your mouse uh, how can I say scroll in and scroll out you can easily do that one so you go here our uh, circle is uh, this mean pi pi mean it's the how can I say uh, diameter and r mean the radius right so this thing you also need to uh, know like what is me meaning of this pi it's it's the di diameter and r mean radius so if you go th these two circle we have a diameter of 1.25 and radius of 1.25 Five zero this circle right so first we will draw this one diameter so if you go to circle you can find many option uh, our is uh, how can I say center and diameter right we are not drawing the radius so center and diameter we choose that one and we put 1.1.25 this circle in center and diameter again and 1.25 again so we draw the two circle with 1.25 diameter not radius again uh, if we go to here the next circle are radius which is 1.50 so we go to circle and we choose the first one the radius one center and radius so we choose the center point like this and 1.50 again we go to circle we choose the same radius one and 1.50 so here we draw almost half of our geometry the next thing what we need to to do we need to draw this circle like here connect here and then go to this side so first we will draw this one like six so you again go to the line and as we can see here we can't choose any option from the this point to this point to draw the line so that one you can choose uh, you can change that setting uh, you just see this one uh, snap cursor option like uh, you can choose many options from here for your drawing so in this case we need one point on this edge and on this edge right so you can see this option is unchecked like we need to draw from this point like this point so we check this point um, so now once we want to and then okay now as you can see you can easily uh, draw the line from here to there like you can uh, check uncheck many options from here based on your requirement like if you need the midpoint for example I need the midpoint right so there is no midpoint showing midpoint mean the center point so there is no center point showing for this line but that one you can uh, on by going here right once you check this command now you can see the midpoint which is this point right so you can check and uncheck many command from this window uh, as we need the quadrant uh, how can I say this point so we check this one 
and again we go to the line and we will simply draw that line from here to here that's it now what is the next the next we need to draw two length horizontal then 0.5 height then two again horizontal and then finally connect so we will go here we will draw two enter and then uh, downward we have vertical 0 0.50 right 0 0.50 enter then again it's two enter then go 0 0.50 because same height we need to give like this one like this one same height this side and then finally connect to this edge so uh, the next thing everything is finished now but we need to trim some lines for example we need to trim this circle this circle we need to delete this line so how to do that one first of all you just simply click on this line once it's become blue you just press delete in your keyboard so this line will delete the next one we need to trim this side and this side how can you do that you can see this command trim from here so how to use like what is meaning of trim trim basically you choose one command and you want to delete some lines uh, simply deleting so for that you use uh, this um, how can I say this command you can see in the photos also like in the down they uh, mention the description what the trim is used for and all those you guys can read on its own but uh, like I am simply using the trim command here you just click trim and uh, if you want to do the power trim for example very easy trim so once you click on the trim command from here you just press the enter in your keyboard and you go here you just delete this one and this one very easy like let me show you again you just go trim you just press enter in your keyboard and you just delete this one and this one that's it your drawing has been finished now again you need to give the dimension uh, which is really easy you go here you go to the linear right this is because this geometry is very small that's why the dimension is very coming very big because this one is 30 like uh, this one is 80 the whole length but for this it's 6 so it's very small right that's why the dimension is coming very large so it's not that much a big up deal uh, like the dimension size but the important thing you need to draw it uh, with the precise dimension right so again we have to uh, for the different kind of radius like uh, here here we can see one circle was the diameter and one was the radius right so how can we choose that one once you go here you can see diameter and radius right so diameter you choose for the diameter and radius you choose for the radius so there you go there there, there this is your uh, final drawing 